What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. It is 6pm, it is a Friday which means new weekly objectives and hopefully some cool new content. I'm excited, so Alaba won the position change. Oh look at that, Juan Jesus and Alex Teixeira weekly objectives, that's interesting. Um, best of batch 3, best of SBCs, that footage when Alaba looks pretty intense. Um, so nothing in terms of popping up on the screen. So let's start off with the weekly objectives and see what EA have given us for this week. So first off is Alex Teixeira. Win two squad battles matches using 11 Chinese league players on world cast difficulty. For a 90 rated squad, brilliant. Juan Jesus. Score at least two goals with Serie A players in four separate rivals matches. So no win condition again. Super easy. Brilliant. Uh, we'll get into looking at their in-game stats in due course. Uh, swap deals player uh, one, two and three completionist for a 50k pack and fifa e world cup win 12 rivals matches this week for a 100k pack not gonna lie i'm not doing that now this one's tough because basically for completing that you get a 50k and a 100k pack i've got to be honest i'm not really interested i'm just not i'm playing 12 of those games um, so that'll be a no from me from there. Let's have a look, though, at that David Alaba card. What have we got? So we've got foot swap still there that we'd need to get if we wanted that. The other stuff that's still been there. So the position swap. Now, this Alaba, obviously, four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. I tell you, this looks like a brilliant card, doesn't it? Oh, my God. That genuinely is one of the best cards in this game. His pace is top, top tier. His shooting is immaculate with exception of finishing. But as long as you're not shooting inside the box, not a problem. His passing is just utterly brilliant. His dribbling is absolutely exceptional. His defensive stats are very high end. His physical stats are brilliant as well. That is, I mean, what would I put on this card? Maybe a Sentinel? And you've got a, a player that can play, like, genuinely anywhere on the field left back center back right back cdm cam winger striker center forward anywhere you want you can play this card obviously the weak foot skill moves and work rate will dictate a little bit different from that so maybe full back or winger would be ideal i pro probably think maybe a central cam or a central midfielder is, is really good i guess the question remains is how expensive is he going to be um not expensive at all I think that's about 200k, right? Based on um, based on Ribery, <laughs> who he's strong links to. What a card that is. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I'm doing it. I am going to do it. An 86 rated squad. Let me have a look at my special cards. Uh, I know I've got a few that I picked up from League SBCs. He can go in. He can go in. Uh, I pick, ooh, let me use that pulse. And I know he's super cheap. Kanji can go in. I will see you later, son. Uh, which other? I did another league SBC. There you go. Brahimi can go in as well. Uh, now we need 70 chemistry for this one. So before we get uh, all guns blazing, let's go. Obviously, I don't really want to use Bundesliga in general because it's it's going to be hard to get an 86 rated Bundesliga squad without using any of the Bayern Munich players because they're all extinct, right? Um, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, I just don't have I just don't have stuff available. Could use Halstenberg as a 91. Uh, very happy to use Pulisic. I have another one of him on the transfer market. Don't have any centre mids. Uh, also, uh, do I want to use Kostic? Not really. Very happy to use uh, Philip as well because I have another one of him too. Uh, so let's pop a Kanji up in there and get those guys some chemistry. And then let, let's go to the uh, Italian league. I know there's some special cards in here and some people will be like, oh, what are you doing? Creative just i'm i'm over it at this stage of the game and i hope you guys are too i'm not really interested in looking for the absolute utter most dominant cost efficient way to do things at the moment um because it doesn't really wow that gulam link is pretty legit uh let's i, I think i've got a few higher rate players here we go that's more like it and zukic lieva no, nothing nothing major there um uh, right let's pop lieva in that's 84 rated put manzukic in it's 85 rated, and we've obliterated the chemistry there. Um, job done. I'm happy with that. I know you guys will be like, no, why are these 86 special cards? Well, they're about as expensive as the regular cards right now. So we get a 50k pack 
for that first section. Walk out. And this is why it doesn't matter. Because you just get... That, that's an inform. That helps. Because now we can put that in the 85 SBC. Is that Lukaku? It is Lukaku. Very nice indeed. 89 rated inform out of that. I'm extremely happy with that. Extremely happy. Amazing. That I'm, now I'm even happier. Because that Wondolovsky discards for 65k. Which... With Lukaku as well, what's he selling for? 40k. I'm going to have covered most of the costs of the entire SBC just off of those two alone. That's going to recover, well, with, with these two packs, should I say. We get that Munir there as well. That Wondolovsky could just go. Um, Munir can actually just go as well, to be fair. Young's selling for a bit right now because he's English and rare for the, um, the EA uh, thing. Munir can just go. So we made off of that 75, about 130k there, which is brilliant. Um, and now we've got the 85 rated squad. And I'm actually going to use that Lukaku because it's just going to make things a whole bunch easier for me. I don't really have too many informs in the club. Um, it's one of those areas I've been a little bit lacking on. So there we go. And let's put in just a Premier... Oh, I don't even need a Premier League team around him, really. Let's just use some Premier League players. An 89 and an 85 rated squad. So we'll, oh, I actually have this Shar card. Oh, maybe I'll change my mind on that Lukaku. I don't really have... All right, let, let's, go to, let's go to the French League, see what we've got. We need an 85-rated squad. All right, here we go. This is better. Let's pop these guys in. Oh, no, I don't want to do it like that, do I? Pop these guys in. We only need 50 chem as well, so all the 83s can go in. Have a look at the untradeable. We'll see what we've got going on there. What do you guys think to this card? You like it? I like it. I, 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 I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, in this regard here. Uh, let's pop him down there. Uh, let's pop him in there and him in there. And let's pop him up there. So again, with that 89 Lukaku, we're going we're gonna to be in a good spot, uh, generally speaking, for getting this SBC complete. This is another big card. That, like, I, was, I just looked at that Perisic and thought to myself, damn, that Perisic and that Richarlison are also brilliant. Like, EA have done a good job towards the back end of this year with getting brilliant cards into the game for really affordable prices. So you, you can't really knock them for that. Uh, I think that's uh, that's a big win. All right, let's have a look. Is Bauman going to be enough? Probably not. No, he's not. Um, so I'm just going to need to get pretty much an 84 or an 85 rated card that we can have a look at that's going to be there. I'm hoping for that Eden Hazard to pop up tomorrow as well. That would be a very big SBC. But that this David Alaba card, I'm very, very, very impressed with it. I think it's uh, just a, a super, 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 super endgame card. Um, obviously, the thing that it lacked is the skill moves, pretty much. Four-star weak foot is good. Three-star skill moves is a bit disappointing. All right, let's pop these guys in. That should be enough to take us up. So an 84 in there, not enough. An 85 in there, not enough. Uh, an 85 next to him, still not enough. Jesus. An 85... Over the 84 there. There we go. That's it. That's it. And that is it. That is literally it. There you go. Three 85s added in there. That Romelu Lukaku coming in hot. We get a rare um, mega pack for that as well, which in my opinion is one of the best packs in the game. We get this absolutely brilliant David Alaba SBC card. Hopefully now as well, um, we will have the Texiera card and the, what was the other card? The center back, wasn't it? Uh, I can't remember what centre back it was. It was oh, it's Juan Jesus. Is Jesus on there? Is have the foot been got them on already? Wait. No, 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 no. Don't want to quick sell it. Um, yeah, Juan Jesus. Oh, his it's ninety one card is there. Wow. That's a good card. Passing is a little bit, little bit meh. We'll go and have a look at it. We'll, we'll have a look at uh, both of them, actually, uh, in just a second. And we'll have a look at promo packs as well. I opened all of the promo packs yesterday. 10 25k packs or 8 25k packs, whatever it was. 10 or 8, I can't remember. Walk out again. Come on, EA. Blue this time. Oh, we get a big, big card in return. Italian goalkeeper, Donnarumma, 95 rated. This SBC, we made a profit on. We packed Lukaku. We packed Wondolovsky. We packed uh, Munir. We got nine other gold cards out of that. And then out of the rare mega pack, boom, we hit a 95 team of the season. And that's it. 
I mean, it's not really worth crazy amounts, but it's a 95 rated card that will pop in there. Uh, we've got six duplicates, so there could potentially still be a big card in the duplicate. There's not. Um, again, Dyer is going to sell for a bit. The rest of that can probably get discarded. Um, but yeah, that, that was nice. So that essentially was uh, not really, didn't really cost me too much. Um, so yeah, it, with regards to Juan Jesus, guys. Yeah, look at my team now as well. My team and bench is very good. I'm liking it a lot. And I've got a lot of players that are j just kind of like sit there not really doing anything. Uh, right, so Juan Jesus. Obviously, he had th this uh, fart swaps card back in the day, which was a good card then. And now he has this card here. And then also we've got, uh, is it Alex Texiera? I think it is, right? Yeah, it is. There we go. We'll have a look at this. Now, this is an easy card to achieve. It looks like a great card. So, Juan Jesus. Pace, obviously, is brilliant. Defending and physical are brilliant. Reactions. His, the fact he's got such agility and balance, he will feel so much quicker than any other player. As I said, the only downside to this entire card, I mean, he's low high, which is great. He's only 6'1", but 6'1", 6'2", isn't too bad. The only downside to this card compared to other endgame center backs. I'm not saying it's a bad card because of this. I'm saying that this is a blip compared to other, you know, team of the year, Varane, team of the season, Van Dijk, etc. Is that his passing is considerably worse than those guys. Maybe that's a big influence for you. Maybe it's not. But the fact that you can get this card for free is brilliant. And then Texiera as well. How tall is he? He's four star, four star. He's only 5'8". Um, but four star, four star is brilliant. His dribbling is brilliant. His physicals are brilliant. His passing is actually extremely good as well. His vision and short passing is so good. His shooting is nice. It can be boosted very comfortably. I mean, this is a great card for two games. And this, this for me, is where EA are doing a great job of giving back to people. Some of the SBCs, I think, have been a miss over foot footies. I think some of them have been way too expensive for what they should have been. Um, but this is a 90-rated... High end end game card that you can get in two games, and because it's squad battles, it's like 15 minutes a game. So, in 30 minutes of your FIFA life, you can have this card, and I respect that. I think that is a big positive move from EA. I love this, I love this card. I will probably get that Texera card. Um, in the meantime, I mean, my as I say, my account is is stacked as hell. Uh, I'm I'm in a in a very obviously unique position with that, but with that David Alaba card in there, boom, probably a 99 Eden Hazard coming tomorrow. Um, what else have I got here? I'm looking for more footies cards, I think. Paul Pogba there as well. I completed him. Look at look at that. That Pog. Oh man, EA EA have just made it so that you can have whoever you want in your team and have fun with it, and and I genuinely respect that. So there you go, guys. That's the weekly objectives. That's what we've got going on there. Um, last thing I want to do is just have a look at the promo packs. Now, as I say, yesterday there was 25k packs. And I thought they were worth opening. So this time there's five rare election player packs. Now for you to make money back. So you're you're going to open five of these. It's going to cost you 150,000 coins. You're going to have to hit probably two big walkouts to recuperate that money. I'm going to open all five of them. We start off with a walkout. It's a team of the season. It's going to be a great start for us. It's French. It's a striker. It's Hala. Oh. It could have been Lacazette or Mbappe, but no, it's Hala. Hala. But it pays back a good portion of the pack. Anything else in here? Yes, an 86 Richarlison and a right wing from uh, from Palmer, not Palmer, uh, Udinese, uh, that is also relatively expensive, which is quite nice. Turkish League player as well. Two Turkish League players and a French League player. So that's not bad. Um, so Haller's coming in at about, by looks of things, over 20,000 coins. So with Richarlison and Butland and everything else going on in that pack, we actually made money out of that pack. So that's a, that's a good start. We're, we're in profit so far off of the first pack. Pack number two. No walkout on this occasion. Doesn't mean no special card, though. Uh, the, the, a lot of Man of the Match cards are not uh, walkouts. We didn't get a special card out of this one. Um... But we did get this guy who's very expensive. Very expensive. 7,000 coins returned from him. 
Um, Asenjo Vox probably going to sell now because he's Bundesliga and 80 rated, which is very nice. Uh, this guy maybe sells. Ah. Um, so uh, we're, we're probably roughly close to even after the first two packs. So as I said, you're going to probably need about two walkouts from the five packs to break fully even. Pack three doesn't offer us a walkout either. I'm hoping pack four or five will give us a, a big dog player. What do we get out of this? Nothing too major out of that. I was, that was pro probably looking at losing about 20,000 coins out of that pack, if we're being honest. So we are going to need a nice big card to, to bring us back. Do we get it here? No. Wow, it started off so well, didn't it? A big walkout to start with. A team of the season walkout, though. No There's two special cards in that pack as well. Asenjo is nice. Yeah, he's over 10,000 coins. That's very nice indeed. Um... The rest of this is pretty useless. His right back looks like he's worth a fair bit, so we'll send him up. Uh, and then last but not least, am I going to break even off of this 150,000 coin spend or not, EA? No, I'm not. Unless we get three or four man of the matches in this pack um, or some, some other discard low-rated one-to-watch cards, which we don't. No big silvers either. Um, no big cards in general. That wasn't worth it for me. Let me know if it was worth it for you. But this guy is going to be the end of the video for today. Uh, if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.